Okay? Like, teach me your expertise. Exactly. And, and finish. Exactly. That's great. That's yeah. amazing. By the way, fellow Buckeye. I'm from Delaware, Ohio. Awesome. Yes. Let's go over here to this mic for our first question. Hi, big fan. Hi. Um, first, thank you for, for uh, all your years of entertainment. Um, being a friend of this wonderful. And I was wondering if, if all of your time in, in doing Bart Simpson and on The Simpsons, was there ever a plot line or a storyline that you either wouldn't do or felt uncomfortable doing in that time? Great question. Yeah, that's a great question. Um, this was very, very early on, and yes, a script was given to us, and it was probably, I think it was actually in the first season, and I don't know who wrote it, but it was kind of disturbing, and I elicited a complaint about it, a little concern about it, and obviously I wasn't the only one, and it never, it never made the cut. Yeah. I had to sign a bond. No, I'm just kidding. No, um, I just remember it was had something to do with Hitler, Nazi Germany. It was kind of bizarre. Yeah. And it, 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 well, it's just like funny to me. It was like, like that's mean. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, not that it, it, it just it wasn't the tone of the show. It makes sense to tell it how the first season. Mm -hmm. The show had totally found its voice. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Trying to find our own way still. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Let's go over here. Hi. Since this is your first Comic Con, I'll make it yum yum. This is six five. <laughs> I actually just want to know, do you have a favorite celebrity backstage story? Somebody that came on the show that has blew you away or was... Oh gosh, um, I have, I, have, I have too many of them, I have a lot. Just comfortable, yeah. <laughs> Let's see, a favorite backstory, oh, which one should I share? I feel like I've told them all and like you already know all of it, no? <laughs> uh, I guess it's my favorite one is that, um, okay, I have to put, we, we don't get to work with all the celebrities that are on the show, obviously, because their schedules don't always coincide with ours. So there was the episode, it was, mm, I don't know, was within the first, I think, seven years of the show, and it was Meryl Streep. It was that episode, and she played Jessica Lovejoy. Right, the, the, his daughter. And she was a bad girl, and Bart kind of hanged with her. You guys remember the episode, right? Yes. So Bart had this scene with her, but we had to work it out so I could show up and work with her just at a, at a private record. So I'm kind of like, oh my God, I get to work with Meryl Streep. This is so cool. And I'm not, I'm not really particularly fan struck, but they're just certain individuals. All of a sudden, it's just like, God, this is so awesome. I'm just curious how she works as an actress. You know, she's got this reputation, right, for being the constant of that. Yeah, and she's so professional in all the research and very dedicated. I thought, what is she going to do, like, with a voice? So I go in there to do it, and all the introductions are made, and, you know, this is so-and-so the director, and this is the writer, and this is who's going to be uh, who, who's going to be directing you today, and the sound of Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Mark Simpson. <gasps> this is Meryl. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god, that's a cool Meryl Streep is starstruck about me! I'm like, hi Meryl, how are you doing? <laughs> so we go into the studio, and um, the way they have the, the, the stands, when you do a record, you want to be able to see the director. So we're, we're facing the, the sound booth where the, where the director is. He, he's hidden so you don't pick up the sound of him. We're in the sound booth boom. So we're next to each other and we're doing the scene. And we're talking, but she's, this isn't her. Voiceovers is not her arena, right? She's in front of the camera and this is all behind the camera. So she's talking to me like that. And she's talking like that. And it's, it's, I don't mean to put, it was an it, it interesting discovery. And I realized this, and I'm like, hey, listen, excuse me, do you, I want to see her. Do you mind, can we, can we face each other? How about we face each other? So now we're facing each other, and she's talking to me, and I'm talking to her. It was just kind of like playing it as it comes. 
So she looks at me and she's like, oh, God, thanks. Thanks. So she really wanted to talk to me, and I got it. I wanted to talk to her. So now we're doing the scene. The scene's going along great. We do one take, two, three. We do about four takes for each scene. I'm answering a lot of your questions here, I know. So we do four takes. She's really good. She goes, I have another idea. Can I just do one more, one more take? I said, oh, yeah, totally fine by me. She does another one. I, oh, I just realized something. I had another idea. She does another take. She does seven, eight, nine, ten takes. I said, oh, my God. She's amazing. She's making me look bad. I mean, I never do that many takes. We just get it done, right? So we finish. We finish the job. And now inside, a little voice is saying to me, okay, Nancy, now's your chance. Get her autograph. Get her autograph now. You're done. You don't want to be walking out to the park where we signed our contracts. We're all finished. And I can't do it. This is the experience. I can take the experience with me. It's enough. It's enough. I'll be able to share this someday. Emerald City Comic Con. <laughs> so I'm walking out the door, reaching for the door handle. All of a sudden, I feel a little tap on my shoulder. Oh, yeah. And I turn. There's Meryl. And she says, um, Nancy, my kids are too young to watch my movies, but I was just wondering, um, they're huge fans of the show. I was just wondering, could I have your autograph? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 